여러분 안녕하세요. 미래의 돈을 만나보겠습니다. 퓨처머니. 자, 오늘은요. 업비트 디 컨퍼런스가 열리고 있는 서울 워커힐 호텔에 나와 있습니다. 그리고 오늘의 게스트는요. 굉장히 유명하신 분이죠. 일본의 첫 번째 가는 블록체인 프로젝트 아스타 네트워크의 소차 와타나메 씨를 모셔봤습니다. 바로 인터뷰로 함께 하겠습니다. 만나보겠습니다. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Please introduce yourself to the camera. Uh... Sure. Uh, che Irman Sota Watanabe Imunida. Yeah. Um, my Korean is not good. <laughs> so good. let me speak. Yeah, let me speak English. Uh, my name is Sota Watanabe, founder of Asta Network and uh, CEO at Starte Lab. And the Asta Network is the multi-chain smart contract platform. Yeah. And uh, we are recognized as the uh, leading number one project in the Polkadot ecosystem yeah. in Japan. And we're gonna deploy uh, Ethereum layer two by uh, using. CK rollup. Uh, it's my, it might be a little bit technical, so I'm going to remove it. And uh, we are recognized as the leading project in Japan right now. So uh, in terms of the market cap, in terms of the eco ecosystem adoption, and uh, I'm CEO at Starter Lab. Starter Lab is the one with the core development company behind Astar. And Starter Lab recently secured a 3.5 million seed fund from Sony. So we capitally aligned and we created a joint venture between Sony and uh, Starter. And we are go also going to make Sony blockchain based on Asta tech stack and also knowledge and experience. Yeah. Everyone wants to know the, who you are and what you have been doing before you got into Web3 sector. Um, nice question. So I have been to uh, you know, Korea, China, uh, obviously Japan, um, Russia, in India, and so on so during my college. And I saw a lot of the problems, such as poverty, uh, discrimination, um, environment problem, and others. Uh, I worked at a local non-profit organization yeah. in, you know, in, in Japan. And I'm Japanese. I think Japan is one of the, the, you know, one of the best country, just like Korea. And I saw a lot of the problems outside of Japan. And I realized that uh, I would like to, yes. to contribute to the society by yeah. leveraging tech. Yeah. Yeah, when I was working at a nonprofit organization, I could make 10 people in front of me happy. But I could not make the, the other people happy. I mean, the people, you know, the, the opposite of us. Yeah. So by leveraging tech, you know, we can make the world a better place. And the, the thing is, in 2015, um, I was considering which, which industry to choose, AI or blockchain. And I chose blockchain because blockchain empower people and decentralizing power. And the AI you know, enhance the power of centralized company or nation. So, uh, my passion goes to blockchain yeah. back in 2015, and I started Asta uh, in 2019 at the laboratory of University of Tokyo. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm just wondering what what makes you drag into the Web3 sector, and we had a variety of choices yeah. to make the better world. Yeah. Yeah. But you choose the way the better world is blockchain. Yeah. I strongly believe the yeah. future of the Web3. I yeah. think this is going to be uh, changing the world yeah. in, let's say, 10 or 20 years. And uh, the, let's say, who, who is the most powerful, influential people in yeah. the world right now, top 10? And I thought um, politicians or IT entrepreneurs, such yeah. as, let's say, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, um, you know, and so on, Jeff Bezos, yeah. Bill Gates. The common characteristics of them is internet. Internet. So, yeah, they are internet entrepreneur, right? Mm -hmm. Even Elon Musk, they, he used to be an internet uh, entrepreneur. Yeah. Maybe he is right now, too. So, um, but right now, 2023, I'm 28. <laughs> I cannot work on uh, attractive, the attractive domains of yeah. the internet, let's say e-commerce, or let's say um, telecom. Yeah. These kind of the things has been already done by you know, other entrepreneurs. And I'm young, then I needed to bet on the next things. Yeah. And it was Web3. Yeah. 
And the, uh, when I joined the crypto and the Web3, there was no world of the Web3 in the yeah. industry. So Gavin Wood, he is the original CTO of the Ethereum, created a term of the Web3 yeah. back in 2014 or 15th. But uh, Web3 became common word in 2021. And uh, I was working on blockchain and the narrative was switched in Japan too. And, and we could leverage the, the Web3 trend to became bigger. But we just started, so this is not a goal. So I would like to make the world where people are using Web3 in a daily life. So Web3 for billions yeah. is our goal and our mission. Mm. Then let me straight into the Astar. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah? yeah. okay. The Astar is one of the you know, Japanese leading blockchain projects yeah. in Japan, right? Now please summarize the current state of the uh, cryptocurrency market in Japan. I just sure. want to hear it. I think Japan could be uh, one of the leading market yeah. in our world. And the Japanese government made Web3 as a national strategy. I think the motivation is simple. So Japan used it to be number one in terms of the electronic goods, car, manufacturing stuff, and so on. Yeah. But we lost in Web2. So we don't have any big Web2 company. In, in Korea, you guys have you know, Neighbor, Kakao, and so on. But in Japan, you know, we don't have it. We have Yahoo, which is imported from the Yahoo US. Japan is one of yeah, the but it's, it is imported, one. right, from US. If you have Line, yeah. it is imported from Korea. Yes, right. right? Uh, I respect yeah. these kind of the people, but um, we don't have strong Web2 global company. Mm. So this is a problem. And uh, Web3 is coming, and they think that Web3 is the next opportunity, and a new kind of capitalism, new form of the capitalism could be a uh, Web3. So that's why Japanese government made Web3 as a national strategy. And the great things of the Japan is big company enter into Web3 seriously. So NTT Docomo, which is the largest telecom, decided to invest four billion US dollar was uh, four billion US dollar into yeah. Web3 in coming five or six years. I think four billion is the largest budget in Web3 space. Yeah. And the Sony decided to decided to launch blockchain together with us. Um, this is not proof of concept, right? Uh, this can be uh, one of the biggest projects in Web3. So, I think Japanese companies are serious, but uh, we have to prove. Usually, uh, Japan is recognized as a very conservative country, yeah. but uh, in terms of the Web3, they are pretty much aggressive, I think. So, two or three days ago, I was at uh, the ruling party of the Japanese government, yeah. and uh, they're going to do DAO Hackathon hosted by ruling party of the Japanese government. Yeah. So they would like to utilize and they would like to try new things, especially in Web3 things. That's what I was asking you about the Web3 policy. Uh -huh. The last year and this year, the Japanese policies on Web3 and blockchain have definitely yeah. changed. I can feel, yeah. we can feel. And uh, many people are watching Japan. The Astar is one yeah. of the top of the, there is a uh, focusing list. Yeah. That what aspects of Astor have been highlighted by the Japanese government's policy changes? Yeah. So before before Japanese government yeah. made Web3 as a national strategy, um, Astor was the leading project in Japan. And the since the, when? I think since 2020 or 2021. Yeah. And so, you know, yeah. we launched our network, we launched our token, and we migrated from Japan to yeah. Singapore because of the tax policy. Yeah. There was the tax on unrealized gain. Unrealized gain. So I think this is the worst idea, right? <laughs> tax on unrealized gain. Can you say it? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, this is kind of sen sensitive topic, but um, Astar's variation became 2 billion at the maximum. And let's say uh, foundation on 50%, I yeah. would like to make it easy, right? And the foundation on 1 billion, right? If we issue token in Japan, corporate tax is roughly 30%. 30? Yeah. And so, it's there, there was 30% tax on unrealized gain. So 1 billion multiply 30%, 300 million. Oh my God. So I needed to pay 300 million worth tax in 2021, if we issue token in Japan. But we knew that, and we migrated our HQ from Japan to Singapore before issuing token. And then 
Asta became two billion network. Then the Japanese government realized the, the, this tax policy is very bad, and they recognize the problem, yeah. thanks to us. And they fixed the problem already. And this problem is also recognized as the Sota Watanabe problem. I'm not doing bad things, <laughs> but yeah. uh, uh, I'm doing probably iconic things. Then Japanese government changed the tax policy last year, and it has been already changed. But uh, there is a tax on unrealized gain for the non self issued token. Yeah. So let's say you, know, you issue the token and the, our company own your token, your token goes up, there is a tax on unrealized gain. But if I issue a token, the uh, price goes up, there is no tax right now. So there are a lot of the things we needed to change, but uh, we are on the right track. And we need to show the use cases. We need to show the quantitative numbers to change the law. So I'm, I'm doing a Web3 business in Singapore right now, but I would like to migrate HQ from Singapore to Japan in the long run. Okay. Yeah. Very practical yeah. issues on it. Right? Yeah. So thank you for mentioning about the tax policies uh, yeah. in Japan. So I just want to ask you about the policy. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you established the Singapore Foundation in 2022. Yeah. So the, because of the corporate tax issues. Yeah. So web three companies have created some of prices like yeah. just like you said, the Sota Watanabe Pro. Mm -hmm. So when you move to Singapore, establish a new company in Singapore. Mm -hmm. The, what was the reaction of the Japanese tax agencies, you know, authorities when you make move? Uh, when we moved from, you know, Japan to Singapore, yeah. our team was small, just five people or something. And uh, our product, that's enough. That's yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. <laughs> our product is not launched yet. Yeah. So I think Japanese government did not realize the problem. After we migrated to Singapore and after we issued token, you know, variation became two billion. Yeah. And then the Japanese government finally realized we moved to Singapore. Yeah. And we are not only one. The, a lot of the young, talented people already moved to Singapore, already moved to Dubai. So uh, Japan needed to bet on the young people because Japan is such an aging society. Yeah. So just without, like Korea. Yeah, just like Korea maybe. Um, without the hope of the young people and the young entrepreneurs, there is no future of the Japan. So I think Japanese government take it seriously and they, they are changing the lot of the policy right now. Okay. okay. Yeah, but we need an opinion leader and we need a use case. We need the numbers to change the law and change they the tax. Change in, in, a, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. in a good way. Yeah. yeah. That's a better way. Japan, Japan's greatest weapon in mm -hmm. Web3 is mm -hmm. like uh, intellectual property. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is called IP. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. When it comes to the IP utilization, mm -hmm. uh, in what area can be utilized and implemented on the blockchain usually? Yeah, um, I think Korea has a lot of the great IP yeah. as well, like you know, K-pop artists or something. And Japan also has a lot of the great content, such as anime or such as manga and so on. Comics, right? Yeah, comics. And I think. The way how Web3 changed the industry is how to make the community. Yeah. So right now, you know, content creator is making the contents and the user is receiving in a one way. But if we utilize blockchain and Web3, we can create contents together with the users. So let's say uh, we have been talking with a lot of the legendary um, you know, producer producer of the group, and we are talking with a lot of the legendary creator in Japan, and we're gonna launch Asta ZK EVM, which is a layer two solution of Ethereum, powered by ZK, and, and we're gonna start a Asta ZK EVM launching campaign. And we have successfully talked with a lot of the legendary creators. This creator created uh, a lot of the IP, everyone knows. So, Super excited to work with these kind of the people to utilize Asta in their lives. So I would like to make the blockchain where people, you know, which people use in a daily life rather than speculation. So it's like, just like internet, we don't know 
what kind of the protocol uh, learning behind browser, right? Yeah. We don't know, we don't care about TCP IP, we don't care about HTTP, and blockchain it will be the same. The one of the biggest, you know, problem right now is the biggest decision is which blockchain to use. Yeah. This is wrong because blockchain should be backend. And in the future, I think people are using Asta network without knowing Asta network. But there is utility and there is a lot of the token economics is working. So um, price can be, you know, increasing healthier. So this is what we would like to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, the reason why I ask you about the IP and industry yeah. is that sometimes we thought about the other projects like yeah. Oasis in Japan. Yeah, yeah. We think them as a uh, like gaming, chain. gaming yeah. platform. Yeah. But when we think about Astar, mm -hmm. so what what sector, what industry Astar Network is, is involved? Mm -hmm. We, we have to think yeah, about yeah, yeah. sometimes, yeah. Um, Asta is a general smart contract platform, so we can support not general, only yeah. not only a gaming, but also telecom, uh, you know, maybe commerce, and so on. But uh, our focus is going to be a gaming and also IP, yeah. as well as um, daily life use cases. So I think, you know, Already Asta is used in the daily life. So let's say we collaborated with Kalbi, and Kalbi is the largest potato chips company I know. in Japan. Oh, yeah. you know? Yeah, uh, Kalbi potato chips is the very famous, and everyone eat it. Snacks, right? Yeah, snacks. Yeah. yeah. And um, the Kalbi potato chips is sold at more than 10, sorry, 100,000 convenience stores. Like Seven Eleven, yeah. Even and in Korea. Even in Korea, right? Yeah. Even in Korea. And if you eat a Kalbi potato chips and make the box smaller yeah. and scan with Web3 wallet, and you can get NFT on your wallet. It's seed, and if you eat again, the seed is growing, and then you can get a character. Then you can prove the loyalty of the Kalbi on chain on oh. Asta. And another example is we we collaborated with Seven Bank. Yeah. There are a lot of 7-Eleven in Korea, right? And 7 Bank is the bank sector of the 7-Eleven group. And if you donate, you can get a QR code. If you scan QR code, you can get donation NFT on, issued on a star. Yeah. You know, right now on social media, the value of the people is measured by number of the followers. Yeah. So I have a lot of the followers. So I have a lot of the power. I'm an influencer or something. This is what's happening right now. Mm. But if we use on-chain data, you own NFT because you donated, because you went to Japan, you get an award or something. And then you can prove the value, not only followers, but also your activity. And it is visualized as NFT on Asta. So this is what we would like to do. So people are using Asta without knowing Asta. But uh, our backend and blockchain, our technology is there. Yeah, this is what we would like to do. Universal, universal, yeah, yeah, blockchain project, which yeah. is, can be used in any, yeah. any industry, right? Yeah, and we are also interested in layer three. Right. So okay. if we leverage layer three, so we can make a lot of the customized um, features for gaming or maybe finance and so on. And our mission is Web3 for billions. So it is much easier to achieve Web3 for billions if we cooperate with a lot of big companies, yeah. such as Sony. Sony sold a lot of the electronic goods, a lot of the gaming PlayStation stuff, mm -hmm. and a lot of the IP, anime, manga, right? So if we cooperate with them, we could achieve Web3 for billion, much easier than making it from scratch by ourselves. I think you know already what I'm going to ask you. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, the Astar have worked with a very, very big, major Japanese yeah. conglomerate yeah. and companies such as Sony, Toyota, and NTT yeah. or something. What do Web2 companies, big companies, want from Astar? Um, you know, as I said, we lost in Web2. Yeah. And that's why our Japanese companies are struggling, including the top three companies like Toyota, Sony, NTT. So they would like to invest in the next technology. Yeah. 
but uh, it is extremely hard for them to do it by themselves because Web3 is such a unique industry and everything is so fast, right? So it is really tough to catch up all things by themselves. Even they pouring some of the big resources in it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Because I think big company is very different from startup. So startup, I can make a decision. That's it. But big company, there are a lot of the stakeholders. Converse conservative, right? Yeah, uh, it takes time to change. Yes. But once it is decided, the size is too big, <laughs> right? <laughs> so the, thanks to the Japanese government, I think a lot of the big company are interested in the Web3 right now. Yeah. And they already decided. Mm. So the, once it is decided, the speed is very fast. So th what they would like to get from us is the knowledge and uh, the you know, development capability mm. and uh, also a connection yeah. you know, with the top players. Yeah. You know, once Web3 became uh, British, a lot of people entered the market, including a big company. Uh. But I think core people does not believe this, right? You know, we have been here for more than years, maybe six years or eight years, and I have already experienced the three-bear market. <laughs> Can you tell me any engagement with the Korean company um, right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have been speaking with a lot of the Korean company. Yeah. And I think I cannot disclose the name. But, uh, you know, Give me hint. The, one of the biggest company. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, if we are backed by Sony, I think it is easier to associate with. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and uh, we would like to make the Web3 company backed, in, backed by Asia. Not, not, Jap not only Japan, yeah. backed by Asia. And I don't want to make a long story, but uh, you know, if we see the hardware history, and everything, almost everything, was invented by US or UK. Let's say car, transistor, radio, Fourth telephone, century. yeah, 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 and so on. And the Asian countries, Asian companies like Toyota, Sony, and Samsung, you know, improved it and commercialized it. Right now, you know. The, the goods produced by this company is widely used in the world. And 20 or 30 years ago, you know, Japan, Japanese goods, you know, conquered the world. Just like something is doing right now. The I, PlayStation, yeah, yeah, PlayStation. Man, something like that yeah. from Japan. But I, I tremendously respect to Samsung. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> especially because they represent Korea. I know Are you how, giving me a hint? No, no, no. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, and when it comes to software, it was led by Silicon Valley, especially, the so US. But this time, Web3, Web3 can be led by Asia. So this is probably a first opportunity in history that can be led by Asia. Because US is struggling right now because of the political reason. Yeah. In Japan or Singapore, Hong Kong, Korea, you know, a lot of the strong countries, strong economy would like to push Web3 because the US is struggling. And the, our mission is Web3 for billions. And the good thing is 60% of human beings live in Asia. <laughs> so right. this, this is the best place the to point. make the adoption. Yeah. And then we can export to the US or maybe Europe. This is what we would like to do. And I think this is a significant opportunity, not only a Japanese entrepreneur, but also a Korean entrepreneur too, and a big company too. Then you think of yourself as an Asian player, yeah, not, yeah. not a Japanese player. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, let's get into the technology yeah. stuff. Astar is based on, you know, Polkadot yeah. network, yeah. actually. Why Polkadot? I... I think I'm going to Is it answer. Tricky? <laughs> no, 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 no. You said a technical question, but yeah. I'm going to answer the answer with the business reason. Yeah. So you know, when I when I started the project yeah. in 2019, um, Ethereum was already big, mm. and I think Ethereum is very strong and has very nice and amazing community. Yeah. But to get the influence, to be successful, yeah. 
starting from a uh, niche market is the key. Just like Peter Thiel said in his book, Zero to One. Yeah. Um, starting from the niche market and conquer, and then export to the big market. It is a common strategy. Mm. And we started from Polkadot, because Polkadot was not launched yet, and we could be uh, one of the leading players in the Polkadot ecosystem yeah. if we start from Polkadot. If we start from Ethereum, it was hard to be a leading player. And we intentionally started from Japan as well, because we could conquer Japanese market. So we became number one player in the Polkadot ecosystem. Yeah. We became number one player in Japan. So we have a two weapons right now. And then enter the Ethereum ecosystem. And we're going to launch Ethereum layer two um, together with Polygon. And, and according to the survey conducted by Japan Blockchain Association, yeah. the, 40, you know, the question is which blockchain to use, if you, which blockchain you would like to use. And 400 people answered, and 45% chose Asta. Uh, so luckily, 30% chose Polygon. So if we combine Asta and Polygon, we could get 70% or 80% of the market share. And this is what we did, right? So we are using Polygon tech stack to deploy ECDM layer 2. Yeah. So Polygon and Asta cooperate to make Web3 for billions from Japan. So this is what we have already done. So what makes Astar current technology mm -hmm. based on Polkadot mm -hmm. different from the other projects, just yeah. like based on Ethereum? Yeah, I think good question. So we are supporting not only Ethereum virtual machine, but yeah. also WebAssembly, which is the next generation virtual machine for in a Web3 space. And, and also we have, we invented a basic income system called the DAPS staking. And or build to earn. Uh, right now, the one of the biggest problem in Web3 space is the incentive for builders. The builder is the most precious and important people in the ecosystem, but they are paying money to develop something on Ethereum, let's say. They have to pay a lot of the gas. And, and uh, it is hard to get the revenue. But on Astar, uh, we are making the application platform and application board. Portal. And if you deploy something on Asta, your application is registered on our portal. It's like just App Store. And people can stake Asta token on DApps. And based on the number of the staked Asta token, this kind of the project, developers can earn basic income from block reward. So they can be profitable by making something on Asta. So this is the significant difference from other blockchain. Uh, it will be the last question because of very limited time sure. that we are having interview within 30 minutes actually. Yeah. So uh, can you tell us, can you tell to the camera mm -hmm. as your opinion with uh, outlook in 2024 mm -hmm. uh, in terms of market situation, in terms of technology, yeah. in terms of, you know, as our network to the camera? Yeah, um, I think 2024 will be a very important year because of the two reasons. So first one is I think market is coming back. So it is very important to take which, po which position to take for us, yeah. right? Um, we are recognized as the number one project in Japan, but it's not enough. So we would like to be backed by Asia and we are launching Ethereum layer 2, so we needed to make it successful yeah. to take a better position in the Web3 market. And second thing is um, the, you know, adoption? Adoption. Adoption. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, right now, the Web3 adoption is just started, and compared with internet, you know, we are too small. So we would like to make it bigger and bigger, and right now, I think market is driven by speculation, but uh, we needed to make a utility. Yeah. We needed to make a product people are actually using in their own life every day. So, you know, we started from, you know, our industry started from 2008, right? So it has been uh, 15 years or 16 years next year. So we needed to make real application, which everyone use rather than you know, speculation. 
But so to do so, I think we needed to make a regulatory framework, and we needed to improve a lot of the tech. But uh, I think we are on the right track, and the regulation framework is changing in a good way right now, especially in Asia. So probably in uh, 2024, we could see a uh, um, killer use case, first ever killer use case, which yeah. general people use. Not only your blockchain people, but also the maybe your grandma, your grandpa, <laughs> and so on. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for having this interview today. Yeah. Uh, this was Sota Watanabe. Watanabe Shiosunida. Thank you for having 감사합니다. this interview today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 안녕. 안녕.